Hello, how's everyone doing? Who have we got? Hey Mimi. Hey Terry. Hello everybody. Um, how's it going? Happy Sunday evening. Um, we are very excited to have um, our new single Surviving out and about. Um, and thank you all so much for your responses. Um, we love it and I hope that you guys do as well. So we thought seeing as it came out on Tuesday, which is kind of a weird day to release a bit of music, that we would um, have a catch up because we haven't all spoken in a while um, and see if you guys had any questions for us, um, talk about the song, maybe encourage you to like listen to it a bit um, if you haven't already. It's called Surviving. Surprise. Um, I hope that you're into it so far. So I'm going to try and drag a few people into this conversation with me. Um, let's see what happens. All right. Is he going to pick up? It's that awkward moment where you're never quite sure. Oh, hello. Oh, hi there. How's it going? Yeah, very well, thank you. Um, how are you? you? I'm fine. How are you? I've not seen you in a while. I, I know it's it's been it's it's been ages now. It's weird. I'm sick of my house. <laughs> I'm just sick of it. How's quarantine? How's it been? Yeah, it's fine. It's just more of being in my house. But it's nice to have music out. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's exciting. It's so nice to have to have uh, have new music out and seeing people's reactions and stuff has been amazing. Yeah, it's been good. Um, I have some questions to pose to you, Kyle. This feels a bit like an attraction oh, tactic. Well, yeah, it does. It does. How like um it. how was your how was your first night of freedom last night? Uh, that's a me yes, question from me right. to you. That's not yeah. a, that's not a, that's not from anyone else. That's really nice of you. Um yeah, I uh, my two week quarantine period was up and so I just uh went and saw friends below six please. Six at a time for the rules, keep it nice and safe. And two um, households. Oh uh, yeah, and, and today is I'm a bit groggy, but we're doing all right on a Sunday, you know? Yeah, just straight back into the house, right? Straight back into the house. <laughs> nice. Um, I have a question from Heather, who's okay. at Weight of Living One, who said, what's your record for keeping a plant alive? Very relevant to the single, I think you'll find. Super relevant. Um, wow, keeping a plant alive. Well, I'll, I'll chuck on surviving, you know. Uh, <laughs> hopefully that'll encourage it to keep going. Um, uh, I've, heard, I've heard it's brilliant for plants. I've heard it's... Uh, plants love that stuff. My, it's better, better than sunlight and water. I, I've heard. It does more for plants than... It's been, since we released the song, it's, all my plants have kind of doubled in size. Oh, um, oh, oh have you had it on in the... Have you just had it on in the kitchen? <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, they, they must have just known that it came out. Got ya, got ya. Yeah. Um, it's, it's weird. Uh, do, do you know what's weird about this song? Just because the way it was all recorded and stuff. Uh, m like, my vocals on it were, were recorded in this room that I'm sat in. I was to ask now, you about that. Yeah, because obviously we started it before lockdown, but then a lot of it was done during lockdown. So it's very much kind of like a, a relic of this weird time. And a bit like with Graham Coxon and what you're going to do, this one, you know, a lot of it was done remotely. So, uh, how was it, Kyle, from Bastille? What was the experience like? I, uh, I had to build like a kind of shanty town version of, a, of, a, of like a little vocal booth with towels and a wardrobe. And I did it. <laughs> um, yeah, it was, you know, but it, it, I mean, it, it seemed to come out fine. You and Mark slot, slotted it in nicely. You're part, you're part of the big gang. Sounds, sounds, you're a gorgeous woody baritone. Is it baritone? Is it bass, baritone, what we're saying? Uh, yeah, I quite like baritone. It makes you feel special. Yeah, it does sound cool. Yeah, it was good. More, um, more, sy what, more syllables, if anything. <laughs> exactly. And therefore more important. A, a, a prior 62 says, again, this is very relevant to the single. Mm -hmm. uh, if you could be any superhero, who would you be and why? Hmm. Do you know what? I just, oof, I don't know. Are we? Uh, uh, have you seen the? Are you watching the boys? 
Yes, of course. And anyone else that hasn't seen it and that would be remotely into that kind of thing, definitely watch it. It's really fucking good. Yeah. I mean, probably just Starlight from The Boys. Yes. She's great. Gosh. She's really Eyes great. light up, flashing people. Not flashing people. Is there a bit of that? No, there's, not, there's none of that. Light. Flashing light at people. Yeah. <laughs> so be careful with that one. It's not that kind of show, guys. That's not. Well, it sometimes is, but it's, it's <laughs> predominantly not. Um, dude, thank you for thank you so much for, uh, for for joining. As always, it's great to see you, even if it's for a phone, as it quite often is digitally. As we as we slip back into lockdown, um, yeah, um, maybe, well, maybe maybe there'll be much more of this. Uh, any any parting words for anybody watching on uh, on surviving? Um, well, just make sure it's on to keep all your plants alive. Um, and I hope that you enjoy it because we all liked making it. Somebody just somebody uh, down there just said um, that I'm going for the Homelander look. Oh, you are going for the Homelander <laughs> look. Oh, that's weird. I will also put on a fake ripped uh, <laughs> spandex suit. Absolutely, do it! Oh my god, I'm 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 definitely staying tuned into this. If if if, if you can do it before the end of this Instagram live. Uh, yeah, I'll just go and improvise. Get some. Spandex? Uh, yeah. <laughs> just, Amazing. Just that, that covered of spandex that I've got. <laughs> I'll just go, just go raid that. Uh, re sew some pillows into it to give me a six pack. Dude, um, good to see you, man. I'll see you so soon. Good to see you. Have a great night, mate. Bye, mate. Bye. Wasn't that nice to see Kyle? All right, who's next? How's everyone doing? Um, Mia or Maya says hi to Kyle. Is that Dan Arm Brewster? I wish it was Dan Arm Brewster. Uh, someone's asking if we can have an album this year. No comment. Um, how are you guys all doing? How's your weekend been? I hope everyone's all right. Um, wherever you are in the world and whatever's happening. I hope you had good weekends. Um, it's really nice to weirdly digitally see you all a little bit. Um, I'm just going to add this guy and see what happens. Oh, hey. Hey. How's it going, dude? I'm good. How are you? Fine, thanks. Happy birthday for like two weeks ago. Thanks. Awoi um, took us to a country retreat that was 15 minutes drive from my house. <laughs> uh, three times during our stay away to pick things up. <laughs> what, did you leave, what did you leave behind? Uh, a hair curler for her, obviously not me, um, and my toothbrush. So you have a toothbrush. Go on holiday really near your house. You don't even have to buy a new toothbrush. Uh, but, yeah, easier to go home than to just go to Boots down the road. Well, you know, maybe I wanted to pop home. I have maybe you did. <laughs> did. Did you have a nap at home? Uh, no, I had to get straight back because she was very concerned I was just going home. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Was it fun? Yeah, it was really good. There was a bat. I got bitten by a spider. What? Uh, see. It was like, did you see it? Yeah, it was like really small but a bit hairy with silver back. That doesn't sound good. No. How's it feeling? Fine, it's really sore. It really sore. Painful or itchy? Both. The duo. <laughs> I'm gonna start. I'm, I'm not saying. I'm not saying that that's a spot. But next time I get a spot, I'm gonna start saying spider bite. I thought it was. I squeezed it, and he was like, "Oh, that's not a spot. That's yeah, that is not meant to be squeezed." <laughs> Ouch. Um, I have some. I have some. Thanks for joining, by the way. Um, okay. Nice to see you on a Sunday night. I have some questions from people that I. Uh, what was it like seeing each other for the first time in person after lockdown from at, I can't say it, but yeah. <laughs> I'll help you out. Um, it was really fun. We have done a couple of bits and bobs, but I remember when we did the photo shoot a couple of weeks ago, I was a bit like kind of groggy and tired. And I got there and everyone was, it's so much fun just to talk to someone who isn't, my wife or my dad on the phone. So it's like, it's very really nice. I miss it you. is still weirdly so um, exciting seeing people in real life, isn't it? Crazy. You know, even if we're all six metres apart with masks on, obviously all those photos were like <laughs> photoshopped together. We weren't even in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, you yeah, know, it's nice. What, what a question I've got. Um, what a... So, at mon underscore feel wants to know what is your key advice for surviving during rough times? Um, holiday near your house. Um, 
Yeah. I didn't What's the one thing you've done recently? Well, I have to get this one out, and this is really cheesy. Countryside and nature is really useful. So, like, when lockdown was getting a bit much, I was like, because I live a little drive away from some nice country walks, doing that was really nice. I saw a deer and a lizard. Nice. Yeah. What is it? I don't know. I looked it up. It, I, I don't I, all I could see was loads of photos of lizards that all look the same. <laughs> but I just Googled <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's just a lizard. Just Googled lizard and weirdly it just yeah. the photos come up. Dude, between lizards and spiders, you're having quite the outdoorsy right. and bat. experience. Oh, yeah. Fucking hell. It's like Attenborough. Did you watch, did you watch Extinction? I know, I haven't seen it yet. Me neither. Mark, Mark, the guy that we produced with, he was telling me about it. I mean, obviously, it's called Extinction. It's not going to be happy. Um, but he says it's amazing. But, you know, necessary watching, but maybe not. Yeah. Maybe well, not like Sunday, not, maybe not Sunday night. Or maybe it should. I mean, we all need to watch it, right? Yeah, we should. Um, dude, thank you. Um, I'll see you soon. See you when I see you, mate. When I see you. Oh, next, I'm seeing you on Friday, right? Yes. Or well, Thursday, I think. Pop it in the back game, I think. <laughs> yeah. Will's like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Bye, dude. Good to see you, man. Yeah. Take care, mate. Um, all right, how's everyone doing? Tell us something about fun about recording surviving. Hello from Vegas. Uh, someone wants to see some of Will's talent. Why didn't you get that in when Will was there? Uh, we should have got Will to do like a bass solo or something. Maybe we can get him back. Um, right, who is next? Who's around? Um... He's not picking up. Hey, Candy. How are you doing? No, global warming isn't cool. Someone's asking what's with the coins. Good question. You will see. Keep your eyes peeled. Um, oh, look who it is. All right. Hey, dude. How's it going? I'm good. I'm just reclining on my sofa here next to freshly shaved pussy. Cat. Oh. There, eh? Oh. I could have been... Eh? All right. Who, who's this? Hello? Who's that? That's, that's Rory, who's a girl. Hey, Rory, who's a girl. How, do you, how are we spelling Rory? Uh, R-O-R, uh, apostrophe, smiley face, question mark. Nice. E. Nice. How are you, dude? How's your weekend? Uh, I'm good. A little bit different from Will and Kyle's. Um... Running around fields after small humans, mostly, but yeah, all good. Nice. How about yours? How are they doing? How are they doing? Um, is that a word? Yes. Uh, full of vim and vigor. Full of energy. Yes, that's the one. But, uh, no, mate, we're all, we're all good. Um, been adapting to my new life as house husband and chatting to the mums at the school gates. It's been different. How's that? Have you got, have you got any favourites? This is definitely the right, uh, this, this no. is definitely the right space and place <laughs> the, for you to be uh, private. You safe tell place all where we can share who you like and who you don't. Go on. Uh, I, I I hate everyone equally. Very so, diplomatic. Yes. Very hateful and diplomatic <laughs> of you. Yes, you know me, mate. <laughs> um, I have some questions from from some people on the internet. Mm -hmm. Who hope be, be careful of them people on the internet. They, okay. They're trying to lead you astray and stuff. Dude, have, you, have you watched the social dilemma yet? I have. Yes, um, I'm actually going to take a hammer to my phone as soon as I hang up oh, no, after no. this, just so you know. I think I've got a record of about 24 hours after it. Oh, really? Yeah. Having a single, and having a single, out, having music out and about again doesn't do well with not being able to use your phone. Yeah, but, but you know, I mean, that's how they get you, mate. They make you release music, then they own, then they own you. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Oh my god, it was so depressing, wasn't it? It was so depressing, wasn't it? It's just grim. Um, kind of makes you worry for the future a little bit. But um, it's nice that we've also got these really like insidious, let's say insidious, insidious smart speakers in our homes listening to us all the time as well. I know. So even cool. if you destroy your phones, then yeah. You're just anyway, ch ch stuff. chatting away in a little creepy round light, just blinks away. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, we're listening, guys. Um, right. <laughs> so. Uh, at the departure underscore, and then the departed water film. Well, I hope so. That... Oh, yeah. Um, Scott getting in wanted to know how the pandemic has affected us working together as a band. 
<laughs> it's affected all bands, really, isn't it? Um, yeah. It's pretty bleak for the music industry, um, to some more than others, but I would urge everyone to write to their local MP, if possible, to uh, support the freelance workers who are currently screwed, quite frankly, yes. by the lack of government support or furloughing or anything like that. Um, it's insanely yeah, outrageous. Sorry, take it oh. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, there could be a big, big old talent drain and uh, things may, may not be the same when it all comes back if people aren't supported. Dude, um, it's horrifying. Unless that's not us, I'm talking more about like our crew, people work at venues, truck drivers, everything. Uh, there's a whole network of people behind us doing our thing that people aren't aware of and they need supporting. I know. And not, obviously not um, just in music as well, in yeah. so many different creative industry, yeah, arms of the creative industry. And also for anyone who thinks that you know, music or art, so just kind of indulgent and whatever. I mean, A, what has got most people through a lot of lockdown, and B, in the UK alone, it's such a massive industry that, you know, that provides work mm. for so many people, like you said. Anyway, um, it's a real shame that our government isn't really doing much. Germany, apparently, well, Germany, not apparently, Germany's been amazing, hasn't it? Yes. Um, that's that's why I married a German. I'm, I'm going to tell that there if I have to. <laughs> <laughs> don't leave us don't leave us um at, the Berlin, mate. at wild world at wild wild world x wants to know what's been your surviving tactic during these crazy times especially with lockdown gin gin mm -hmm. um other beverages are available but they're not as tasty um, um yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> um apart from that um Long, long walks. Of, you know what? We got well lucky with the weather. I know it sounds really dumb to say, but like, because everything else is shut. If we were stuck inside properly as well, I think I might have lost my mind. So, if, if it had happened during um, winter, yes. it would have been so much more grim. Well, look, we've oh, got it's happening time. during winter, don't worry. Oh, no, no. <laughs> know, but at least we were easy with the first one. Um, Farah Nalama wants to know, since Surviving mentioned seven years of touring, how are you coping with yes. sudden change in your lives due to lockdown? You're getting all the heavy questions, man. Sorry. I know, deep, man. It's fine. Um, it's really weird. If I actually have interest, I looked. I wonder where we were this time last year. We were at Mohegan Sun, which is a casino in Connecticut. Oh, no uh, way. This time last year. Uh, yeah, what a difference 12 months makes. Um, I think yeah. this is the longest I've gone without playing a gig of any sort, I think, since I was like 16, maybe. It's really weird. Um, I'm used to playing drums at people, um, but getting really good at baking banana bread. So you know, every cloud. Excellent. Which which other which other lockdown cliches have you succumbed to? I mean, you're talking to a guy that's succumbed to a lot of them. So I'm just <laughs> changed your hair, redecorated the bedroom. Yeah, literally. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, started a film club. Um, uh, what other cliches have I succumbed to? Um, just. Uh, probably drink, <laughs> drinking too much. Uh, our our recycling bin is quite shameful. Is it? I will say that. Yeah. Um, you, see, you hear the bin men groaning. They're not they're not pleased with us. A lot more extra work for them. Tell me about it. Well, I'm seeing you later this week, right? Yes. Uh, I look forward to it. it. We, we can um, we from can a safe distance, the... of course. The... Yeah. What's that? Oh yeah. Also, think about this. If if you showed someone the picture from 2019 of today, they were like, why is everyone wearing masks and elbowing each other? Like, you've all lost your minds. It was some weird fashion thing. I know, it would if be really they knew. just from last year to be dropped in. Um, someone here, CB underscore drums underscore wants to know, Woody, what's your favourite Bastille drum part? Oh, Bastille drum part um, is Fake It. Fake It? I know, you know. Nice. Mm. Oh man, I do miss, I do miss touring. Um, dude, thank you so much for joining us tonight. I don't know why I'm saying that to you like I'm wow. some sort of host and you're not just the guy that I'm in a band with. Um, thank you for joining yeah. me on this very <laughs> professional Instagram live. Dude, I'll see, I'll see you later in the week, man. Have a good night. Bye, mate. Enjoy, love. enjoy the gym. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs> um, right. Let's see who else is around. Um, I hope you guys are all doing all right. Thanks to everyone who's watching, who's stuck with me, bumbling my way through this mess of an Instagram live. Um... I'll, I'll answer some questions in a bit, but for now, we have Ridgebo, aka John G. How you doing, mate? Hey, man. How's it going? Yeah, great, man. Thanks for joining us. That's all right. 
Um, would you like to introduce yourself to the people on the internet? Hi, I'm Ruti Poe, and I play saxophone as well as other things. But for these guys, I do saxophone. Uh, do you want to say about, do you want to talk about some of the other amazing things that you do and some of the music that you've released recently? Yeah, so I've been releasing some music, some of my own tunes, which has been, feels like a long time coming, really. Um, but yeah, check it out on Spotify. It's very it's good. It's, um, it's fun. I, Dude, I enjoy that video it. you made as well was very, very good. Yeah, it, that, took, that took like a lot of learning how to do. That was the one, one of the things that I learned to do in quarantine, which is kind of use software for video editing and well, stuff and it, using a camera. It looked, it looked, it looked fucking wicked, I thought. So, Thank uh, you. So Ritipo, which it feels weird calling you that, but I'm going to. Yeah. Uh, you can call me John G us. if you want. John G is talking with, <laughs> talk with us. <laughs> Um, loads and loads like we played so many festivals together and uh, really? done lots of really fun tours uh, for like Wild World which was our second album and uh, and, and more recently um, we played Glastonbury together last year which was insane yeah man I mean the pyramid stage it's like it's the one isn't it it is yeah where, where do you go after that I know Not, I mean just nowhere, higher literally. up <laughs> yeah <laughs> Or we just take a leaf out of this year's book and do nothing. Do nothing. Um, yeah. Um, dude, thank you so much for, for, for playing on Surviving. Um, I like, I My absolutely pleasure. love, I love, I love your, your parts on it. Um, John G played on, on a bunch of the last album as well. He played on Those Nights, which <clears throat> is, yes. and 4M, which is probably two, two of my, and that's weird to have favourites, but two of my favourites are my tracks. I think um, it's totally okay to have favourites. Come is on. Is it? Yeah, yeah, totally. I'll take it. I mean, no, yeah. I do. They are, they are my favourites. I'd be lying if I'd be lying if that's the word. But um, when you came down to the studio, it was like just before. It must have been like, well, like a week before lockdown. It was just in. before, yeah. Um, and you came armed with quite a lot of saxophones. How many? Well, usually, usually the process is you ask me if I can come to the studio, and I say, "What do you want?" And then there's a bit of umming and ahhing about it. So I just bring everything. So, so I, I think I brought an alto, tenor, baritone, clarinet and flute. But we didn't use the clarinet. We did use no. the saxophones. Um, well, there's always, there's, always next, there's always the next one, right? <laughs> yeah, let's, let's put be more. <laughs> you can just layer up an orchestra of clarinets and, and I'll try and sing over it. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. So you added some, you, you layered up a load of flutes, which I love for like the pre-chorus. They sounded yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think we just asked you to just jam over the top. Um, that was it. Because I don't, I feel like I did lots of different things. And then that was the one that you went with. Yeah. Just that little. We, well, you did loads and we were going through it and it was all yeah. amazing. Well, I, mean, I think, was it, all, was it over just like a few bars or something? We just looped it and. Yeah, well, I think, oh, yeah. I think you just jammed over the whole song and basically we just wanted a moment that really yeah. leapt out. Um, have you got a saxophone in your hand? I do. <sighs> Should I do the thing? I mean, it's a little yeah, bit do late. Because but... Mark, Mark, Mark said when you came back down the studio, you were like, I don't know which bit you used. And until, we played, until he like, played you the song, you were like, <laughs> yeah, that's it. You, you were like uh. <laughs> yeah, I had to learn it recently. So what was it? Yes. And then, nice. because on the track you you reverse the thing, so I've got to learn how to do that backwards. Oh shit! How you can do it? That's nice. <laughs> um, I like to hope that if we get to do this like live, uh, when we get to do this live, that um. You can just do like the full sax only version where I don't sing and I can just sort of sit at the side of the stage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all right. I'll take front of the stage, mate. Yeah. Can take I, a could be, I could just I could be a backing dancer. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or you could leave the stage and just leave me to play. Yeah. Well, the thing is, because I like the dancing as well. So, like, I could totally do. You know, do I'll you... sing the theme tune, I'll write the theme tune. You'll, you'll do the dancing, you'll teach us all the moves. <laughs> yeah, I'll, do, I'll 
I'll I'll sort out your choreography, mate. Thanks. And everything. <laughs> I fucking need it. I need all the help I can get, mate. <laughs> it's all, all the help. Um, Look, it's so all in the like... squat and the lunge. <laughs> yeah, it's got the lunge and the, and the, the perpetual jump up and down pogo because that's pretty much all I got. <laughs> yeah. Um, George, thanks so much for joining. It's, it's uh, been a pleasure. Lovely to see your face, and I'll see you soon. Yeah. Um, dude, thank you for playing on the track as well. Like, it's uh, it's my it's my favorite bit, and it's a lot of people's favorite bit. So, thank you. Whoa. I'll see you soon, mate. Yes, mate. Have a good Love one. Fish. Bye, bye, bye. All right, we have one more. One more special guest before I leave you guys alone. Thank you so much for joining and sticking with uh, me. Who's it going to be? Drum roll. Charlie Barnes. Hello there. How's it going, mate? All right, thanks, bud. How are you doing? I'm all right. How's your weekend? What's been happening? Not, not, not a great deal. Um, hey, no, I... I I'm lying. Luna caught a pheasant this afternoon. What? what? Shut up. Yeah. Dead or alive? We d it was it, it was alive, and she didn't harm it in any way, shape, or form because she's very soft mouthed, being a spaniel, you see. Um, so she just dropped it, and we we put it elsewhere. <laughs> that is the most, yeah. That is the most Danny the champion of the world thing I've ever heard. It's been an action-packed weekend. <laughs> oh my gosh! At every hour. <laughs> wow. Um, what well, about you, mate? What, you, I mean, what have you been up to this weekend? Have you just been getting real promotional? You know, not really. Oh, sweet. I'm, I'm promotionally dead. This is it, really. <laughs> um, uh, but, I, but, you know, it's nice, to, it's nice to have the song out. Isn't it? Um, yeah, really nice. Considering that this was a real, like, beginning of lockdown creative endeavour. Yeah, this was like 50 years ago we, we, it, we did this, right? <laughs> it was. It feels like it, about a thousand years. Um, thank you for playing on it. Thank you so much. My pleasure. <laughs> it was, it's uh, fun, as always, to have uh, to, to just have lots of mates on the track. Um, yeah, this is a big old family. It re yeah, no, it's nice. And I like how aggressive, in quite a nice, relaxed song, you just you just you just sort of come in at the end of it with a big old chainsaw y roaring guitar. Yeah. I, I, I liked that the the process of this was you and Mark giving me a call and saying like we've made this song and it sounds really like nice. Could could you do something really horrible for the end of it just to, you know, even things out a little just bit. To make, yeah, just, to, um, just which to... is <laughs> right up my street. Which was fun as well because we were doing what are you gonna do at the same time, which was Yeah. Which feels like a totally different world, and that was the point of doing things that felt um, very alarmingly different, I guess. But yeah. so trying to drag a little bit of that song into this one was quite fun. Yeah, it was cool. Thank it was, you. Uh, it was, you know, it, it was like being the remote guitarist at the time uh, was was a real Forrest Gump kind of uh, experience. <laughs> 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 um, well, it was it's fun. Like with this song, it was weird because Georgie had done so much great stuff, and you sent loads of brilliant stuff as well. Obviously, yeah. And it was just it was because we wanted the song to be really minimal. Um, it was just about chucking everything at it and then stripping away and stripping away and stripping away. Because obviously, as, as well as that, you did lots of other really fucking awesome guitar stuff. But um, yeah, we just we wanted the space, man. So we just used that one line. Oh, yeah. Um, but I think it adds a lot. It's certainly for a song that only has for a sort of less than three minute song, which where the chorus only happens twice, for the second one to have a big old ripping fart of a guitar <laughs> coming. <laughs> you can have that. You can have that. Like, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna put that on my on, on my fucking CV. <laughs> You're welcome. For all yeah. of your ripping fart guitar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Give them my number, they can call me to verify. <laughs> um, speaking of which, uh, uh, Bella is surviving wants to know, can Charlie explain whatever mosquito in a bag means? <laughs> uh, it's just facetious discussion of what bad distortion sounds sound like. Um, like uh, so my, my, the, the other bands that I, that I used to play in back in the day, Amplifier, we were talking about something in one of our whatsapp groups the other day and 
the the old bass player Alex uh he described someone's guitar as sounding like wasps in a box um so I, I, it was just a, a continuation of that sort of theme and then it just became a real fun thing you know to try and think of a small flying insect in a container it's perfect it's the perfect description <laughs> isn't it um charlie i listened to you recently on a on a podcast oh <laughs> was, was it was it one with a lot of swearing <laughs> Yes, but as someone that's as someone that's not particularly offended by swearing, I don't think I noticed as much as you. Know <laughs> Did you listen back and were like really shocked by how terrible the language was? I was slightly was. horrified by it. Uh, it, it. It made me take a long, hard look at myself. <laughs> and how and how hideously offensive you are. Yeah, I'm. I'm a, I'm a horrible person. I think. Oh, wait, I was just looking at this. People commenting below. Luna is getting a lot of shout outs. By the way, it's because it's she's significantly more interesting than any than any, any of us. Any human. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, and and she, she's and, very tired. She's having a sleep after her dramatic afternoon. Sleeping off the pheasant catch. Mm. Was it like a? Was it like a, you turned your back for a minute, turned back around, and she came marching back? She, she just went sprinting off into a field, uh, a, a place that we go walking where there are lots of pheasants around all the time. Um, and usually they all fly off. Um, but they, there was one that just didn't, he, he didn't quite manage to get away, the poor, poor fellow. Um, oh. So, uh, so but, it's, but it's okay. As I say, spaniels, gun dogs, soft mouth, they're there to retrieve, not to kill. Um, so it was fine. And she li lived, lived up to her read yeah and like yeah. You, you, you don't even train that stuff into them they just do it it's mad um, <laughs> mm. oh, <laughs> mad. um yeah uh at dustland underscore fairy underscore live wanted to know how do you imagine the first gig is going to be like once live music returns oh my god it will be um just a uh a, a deeply spiritual moment also everyone needs to ever so slightly lower their expectations about the first gig that they go to that <laughs> yeah thing, because but none of us are match fit um i think I, I think but it's gonna be you know, it's gonna, we're all gonna be in it together <laughs> yeah exactly we'll be like everyone phones away um <laughs> please i think no, it's, it's, gonna, it's, it's gonna be unreal i got i got I, I, uh, I yeah it's tough to imagine right now um but uh, and also like a bit too sad to imagine if, if I, I see like footage of anything, I'm like, ah, I know, I know, I know. It was such a regular part of life. Um, did yeah, you see? Um, it'll come. Come on. Did you see Frank and uh, um, Frank Turner did uh, actual show in a venue, a distance? Yeah, a yeah. Distance. I wonder how that was. It must have been mad. Um, favorite online gig that you've seen during lockdown? Favorite online gig. Um, I've watched. I've watched a couple. Um, and I did have a weekend of watching uh, some of our most celebrated sad blonde ladies. Um, so I watched the Phoebe Bridges from Red Rocks thing, which was absolutely brilliant. Um, just so cool and so weird seeing like that iconic venue totally empty, but Very still empty. having this amazing thing happening. And I kind of like that she was simulating the applause and also the Laura Marling um, prom at the Albert Hall, which yes. is just sensational. And it's still, I believe, on iPlayer. Um, iPlayer. So people should check that out because it is like a, a hell of a thing. It is, it is really, really amazing. As is your um, as is your podcast, not on iPlayer, but it's where you get your podcast from, Stand By Me. Stand By Me, yes. I loved it. I loved it. Um, it was, that was, it was that, that was a, a fun lockdown experience. Basically, that we, we, we also it was me with my favourite band, um, who I've been fortunate enough to become friends with, uh, the band Ocean Size, uh, and basically us and my mate Ed the Dog, who played bass in my band for a bit, um, and also makes amazing music that you should check out. Yeah. Um, and our other friend Katie um, just hung out and had a really long video chat um, about. At our times together and stuff like that, and it was it was just really good fun. And then they chopped so you down, guys, were you guys all was that a lockdown thing? Were you all on Facetime? Yeah, yeah, it was it was really? all all done via video link, and there was a really there was a bit of a delay um, for for some technical some technical whoopsies from one one member of the group who shall remain nameless. But uh, it was all good fun. 
it wouldn't it wouldn't be trying to do something technological in 2020 over lockdown if it yeah, there wasn't yeah. a, a major a major fuck up right yeah big time dude thank you so much for um hanging out a little bit digitally this evening nice, nice to, to see, see you mate um see you soon and yeah. thank you for playing on the song it sounds fucking wicked your bit my pleasure i'm pleased it's out and about i love this me song. too i think me it's too. really good Oh, thanks. Yeah, no, I, I love it. I hope that people who are watching this like it too. Um, yeah, Red Rocks. Sorry, someone just mentioned Red Rocks in the comments. That's just the most amazing place in the entire world. <laughs> There's yeah. a reason it comes top of a lot of polls of best venues to play in the entire world. It's yeah. insane. So um, I actually haven't seen the Fever Bridges gig, so I'm going to go watch it. But the oh, Long Marley one was insane. Love it. Dude, I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye, mate. Bye. Love you. Bye, 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 bye. bye. All right, everyone, I've been here for ages now. I'm so sorry for uh, whittling on and on and on. But thank you so much. If anyone's got any last questions, I will answer them now. Um, otherwise, I'm going to leave you alone. Uh, thank you so much to Kyle, Will, Woody, Ritipo and Charlie for coming to hang out. Um, thanks to everyone who played on the song um, and sang on it and helped produce it and write it and everything. Um, I really love this song and I'm really happy that it's out um, wanted to make something that felt really honest and sounded really different <clears throat> and this whole next phase of everything we're doing is about challenging ourselves to try and make every song sound a bit different from the last one um, someone's wearing I'm wearing the Joy Waves knockoff Bastille t-shirt yes thank you so much to everyone that, um, that bought those t-shirts and raised money for um, Help Refugees, you're amazing. And to the person that bought our fake Joywave t-shirt, you're also amazing. Thank you so much. Um, quarantine stream sometimes. Yeah, maybe we'll do another quarantine stream. It'd be nice to play Surviving at some point. Um, yes, I will try and do an Insta live gig. I just always feel like I'm a bit rubbish at them. Hello, May. Really nice to see you. Miss you. Um, who else is here? Um, thank you all so much. Annie Oakley hanging. Yes, it's still a thing. Sorry, it's taking so long. Um, favourite film I've watched during... Ooh. <sighs> Not favourite, but I watched My Octopus Teacher recently. That's really good. You should watch it. Why did we auto-tune our voice? Because we wanted it to feel... For that second, I wanted it to feel... Kind of totally just detached and unreal. Because... The whole point of feeling like you're upside down, I wanted it to be like perfectly sonically represented. So there's the contrast of the Mellotron and the real flutes that Ritipo played with my vocal being hard auto-tuned because when you don't feel like everything's okay and you feel like you're living upside down, I wanted it to be a twisted version of myself. I hope that's a good enough explanation. Music video is fucking awesome and i'm so excited for you to see it um it will be out imminently we just wanted you guys to get to know the song a little bit first um thank you so much to everyone for joining tonight thanks to everyone who's listened to surviving who streamed it um we really really appreciate your support and um yeah we'll see you soon thank you so much for having me tonight. Take care, lots of love, bye.